Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Monday, Monday again. And I'm pretty sure it's May 2, 2022. And oh my goodness, have I missed you? Has Jerry missed you? Oh, I'm telling you, if it isn't one thing, it's another. <laughs> you gotta just keep on keeping on. Finally, today, we're back home. We've been gone for over a week, taking care of problems, problem one, problem two, problem three. We finally got the memorial service for Jerry's brother done on Saturday. And Jerry wanted so, so much to do Sunday school for you yesterday, but he had 10 other things he needed to do. And I said, Jerry, they'll understand if you miss another day, just do it next week. Yeah, I need to do it, I need to do it, I've been gone. So he tried and he tried, but he was just so frustrated with these other things weighing on him. He finally said, I just don't think I can do it today, Joy. So I apologize for Jerry. Depending on how this week goes, uh, Jerry has a doctor appointment on Friday, I believe. Today's the second, so three, four, five, six. I think it's on Friday in Oklahoma City. You know, he's had cancer twice. And this is his cancer doctor, and he has to go once a year for blood tests to make sure he's still completely healed, and he is, but uh, he, he wants to go up there for that. So our original plan was one thing, and then our second plan was another thing, and then our third plan was something else. So we, we don't know what the plan is, <laughs> but hopefully we can start doing these in the RV without having issues with cameras and internet and all those kinds of things and new equipment. So the service for Dawn was Saturday morning. The Nazarene preacher who was there was just adorable. His name was Dennis Baker and um, just had the best time. Um, I think I'll talk about it more on my other channel today if you want to go over there because I don't want to take up the whole morning telling you the story. But Jerry got up in front and uh, I was on the front row. There was only 30 people there. And so we, it was very casual, like it was in our house. And I was on the front row, and Jerry got up on the stage behind the podium. And before he even spoke, tears started coming down his eyes. And so I grabbed a box of Kleenex and walked up to the podium and gave him a box of Kleenex. But he just did amazing. Everybody there thanked him and thanked him and thanked him. He was wonderful. So then after that, we had to... We took everybody out to lunch at the city cafe, and that took hours. And then after that, we met with Don's son and tried to take care of, you know, personal affairs, things like that. So it's been it's been a long week and a long weekend. So please forgive Jerry for not getting here yesterday. So I found I was actually looking at a different scripture this morning, and I was looking at it and um, reading it, and then I, my eyes popped over to the next page, and I went. Oh, that sounds like me. I really like that one. I think I'm going to do it. So join me for Psalm 63, starting at verse 2. Psalm 63, a Psalm of David, and he's praying, talking to the Lord as he does all the time, uh, writing a song. I'm not sure what he was doing here, but as usual, there were so many people that hated him, so many people trying to take his throne, and um, he was trusting God as he always did. You know, he was a man after God's own heart. Oh, I love that. Was he a perfect man? Oh, my no. <laughs> oh, my no. Um, you would think a man with a thousand wives would have enough women, but no, he decided he wanted another man's wife. You remember that story? It's in there. Okay, dear ones, let's start at Psalm 63, verse 2. David talking to God. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. Now this is what really reminded me of me. 
On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I, we've been through a lot of stress lately, and, and I've cried tears, Jerry's cried tears, and, you know, expected such and such to do something, and they didn't do it, and expected so and so to do something, and they didn't do it, and everything kept falling back on us. And it's hard, and it's stressful. But God understands that, and he doesn't suffer that stress like we do. And if we can just give it to him. You know, I, I can't see God coming down here and saying, Give me that phone. Let me talk to those people. No, it's in here. See? You can't count on that from God. <laughs> I wish we could. <laughs> that's more my <laughs> that's more my talent. You know, Jerry's like, call him 500 times and be super sweet. And I'm just, give me that phone. Let me tell those people. But um, knowing God, trusting God, letting God just lift you with his right hand into the presence and protection of his wings <gasps> oh you just feel so safe so like a little child being held and swaddled and rocked in the middle of the night do you ever feel it do you ever feel it oh my heavens i do i do so that's the devotion for today. I hope you loved it. And now, problem one, problem two, problem three. Hello! <laughs> I'm trusting the Lord right now to get our internet to work. We had a really bad, well, it wasn't bad. It was good, really strong, hard rainstorm last night. There wasn't lightning and thunder and tons of wind, but the rain was torrential. We actually slept in the RV last night for the first time here on our property. And boy, how did that rain come down? <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, no internet. We have no internet today. I assume it must have something to do with the rain. Jerry's going to call him and get him on the phone. Hello, hello, hello. See when we'll have internet again. So, trusting God, the internet will work. I will get this on YouTube today. And hopefully I'll be able to stay with you for a whole week for a change. I love you all. Have a marvelous week. And I'll be back, I hope and pray, tomorrow.